Self-proclaimed comedian Stephen Colbert is so upset about the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict that he thinks it's time to repeal the Bill of Rights. Yeah, okay, cards on the table. I'm not a legal expert, so I can't tell you whether or not Kyle Rittenhouse broke the law. But I can tell you this. If he didn't break the law, we should change the law. Of course, if they repeal the Second Amendment, then they'll move on to the first, which is their primary target. And CNN's Van Jones says that right now, only white people have a Second Amendment. We don't have the right to self-defense in the same way. I don't have a Second Amendment right in the same way. If Van Jones walked down the street with an AR-15, you know what you say about me? It sure was nice knowing Van Jones because I'm not gonna g have a chance to explain myself. Really, Van? Well, I guess you didn't see the father-daughter duo that came out armed with their AR-15s in Kenosha after the verdict in order to, as they said, protect the protesters. Apparently they were paranoid and must have thought that the Proud Boys or somebody were gonna come and attack them. So they thought they would hit the streets with their AR-15s. But that's nothing. Meet the NFAC, the Not Effing Around Coalition, a black separatist militia that has hundreds, perhaps even thousands of members across the country. I know that looks like footage straight out of Afghanistan, but that's America. That's the NFAC, MSNBC's favorite new black power group that wants a black ethno state in America, a country for blacks only. Meanwhile, PolitiFact, one of Facebook's trusted third party independent fact checkers, is fact checking this popular meme that's going around, showing the stunning differences between the Kyle Rittenhouse case and the Timothy Simpkins case, that thug in Arlington, Texas, who opened fire in the school and shot a bunch of people and got bailed out the very next day and was only charged with aggravated assault, not attempted murder. When these bogus fact checkers render a verdict on a meme or a story, then if it's posted on Facebook, it automatically gets blurred out. And then one of their notices goes over the top of it saying that it's false or it's misleading or it's missing context. There are no falsehoods in the meme. It's obvious that his black privilege protected him from being charged with second degree attempted homicide and the George Soros funded prosecutor instead went soft on him. And nobody in the media will cover the case of Andrew Coffey IV out of Florida who was acquitted the same day as Kyle of the same charges. The only difference is uh, that Andrew Coffey's black and well, he opened fire on police when they were serving a search warrant on his drug house and he claimed self-defense and was acquitted. Best Buy, the electronics retailer, sent out an email to all of their employees after the Rittenhouse verdict, denouncing it, of course, and also offering counseling to any of their employees who feel they may need it. Countless colleges across the country did the same thing. They emailed all the students denouncing the verdict and offering them a safe space to grieve. NBC's Meet the Press is the longest running show in television history. It's been on the air since 1947, and I'm sure that all of their previous hosts are rolling over in their graves at what it's become. Already, far-right groups are calling Rittenhouse the hero we've been waiting for. Republican Missouri Senate candidate Mark McCloskey, who launched a career in politics after pleading guilty to waving his gun at protesters last summer, showed up at the Kenosha courthouse, photographed with two men flashing white supremacist hand signals. Ah, uh, the old white supremacist hand sign trope, one of the most ridiculous lies of the modern era. Remember when that Mexican San Diego Gas and Electric employee got fired because somebody took a picture of him with his arm hanging out the window, cracking his knuckles, and then tweeted it to them, and then said that he was making the hand sign? That's how ridiculous this is. A Mexican-American was fired from his job after one person on Twitter accused him of flashing the white supremacist hand sign. Even Geraldo Rivera over on Fox News parroted this nonsense and believed that Kyle might have connections to white supremacy because he was photographed making the OK hand sign. Over on Peacock, NBC's streaming service, this woman's black fragility caused her to break down and cry, saying that white people are allowed to get away with murder. You guys, because I have my own show, I have a responsibility to say things that people need to know that aren't being said. Kyle Rittenhouse, the man accused of shooting three people during a Black Lives Matter protest, was declared not guilty on all charges. So, I can't believe I have to say this, but... <laughs> uh, white people have been getting away with murder since time began. I can't believe I have to say this, but you matter. You matter. Every time one of these verdicts come out, it's easy to feel like you don't, but I'm here to tell you, that you do, you matter. <laughs> you matter so much that the second you start to get a sense that you do, a man will grab a gun he shouldn't have in the first place and travel all the way to another state just to quiet you. That's the power you have. So 
don't forget it. Actually, it's not okay for you and the other servants of Satan in the media to constantly lie about this case and everything else. She actually thinks she's brave and has a responsibility to say what others in the media won't say. <laughs> actually, honey, almost everybody sounds exactly like you, you mockingbird. It's my job to say what others in the media won't say, so subscribe to my channel if you're new here and check back on a regular basis. And since she thinks that white people are allowed to get away with murder in America, somebody should tell her that in Chicago, over 50% of the murders go unsolved. So black people on the South Side have an over 50% chance of literally getting away with it. We obviously need more police officers in America, and we need more jails, and we need to keep the criminals in the jails. Speaking of cops, there was a Virginia police officer who got fired last year after it was discovered that he donated $25 to Kyle's Legal Defense Fund. The only reason anybody knew this is because hackers hacked Give, Send, Go, the crowdfunding website, and then started doxing the people who donated money. And so Candace Owens just held a fundraiser for him and raised over $250,000, so bravo to Candace. And he's demanding his job back, of course, and if he doesn't get it, I'm sure he's gonna sue. And speaking of people getting sued, Kyle said that he has a great legal team that's working on just that to sue the scum who have been defaming him. And I have a feeling that somebody on that list is gonna be the supposed president himself, Old Joe, because during his interview with Tucker Carlson, Kyle pointed out that Joe Biden maliciously defamed him. The Biden administration's communications director just resigned. It's a different person than Circleback Saki, who was just asked if old Joe wanted to apologize to Kyle, and she dodged the question. If old Joe apologizes, then that's an admission of guilt, and that's not going to look so good when Kyle sues him. As you know, when President Trump was in office, he got sued every week, so it's about time that somebody give the Democrats a taste of their own medicine. F Joe Biden. I apologize for that. I mean, not to Joe, to you, the viewer. I try to keep this show family friendly. These people just push me to my limit. We're all in the same boat. I'm sure that you agree. And I'm also sure that you'll enjoy my new F Joe Biden shirt. It's the Mark Dice original. It's a Wheel of Fortune parody. Would you like to buy a vowel? I'm sure you would. Order yours from my online store, markdice.com, or click the link in the description below. And I launched this shirt last week, but it got banned the very next day. So if you're clicking the links on some of my previous videos, those links would have been dead, and that's the reason. So you wouldn't believe what I had to go through to get this shirt back into the store, so order it while you can. And this weekend, I'm starting my Black Friday sale early, so save 20% off of anything from my store by using the promo code DICERULES at the checkout. So order your F. Joe Biden shirt, your Let's Go Brandon shirt, or any of my awesome designs, all available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below. Enter the promo code DICERULES at the checkout to save 20% and check them out.